fifties. The members have changed over the years, but they they're they're from Ver I think Ver Veracruz or or from uh, somewhere. It's a well known Mexican place in Mexico. Gotcha. Yeah, there's like a whole nother school of harp for Latin music. They play <laughs> diff a little differently in the hand position and yeah, yeah, different cool. style because there was a. I think that that style of music they kept the triple strung harp longer because there's oh. uh there's double strungs and cross strungs and triple strung harps um oh. and i think the latin or the spanish school of harp kept the the triple strung a little longer than like the french did what would you call the harp that's traditionally played in Ireland going back to the 16, 1700s. I just call it a harp, Celtic harp. Celtic harp. And it was a yeah. smallish harp. It was a, like a portable kind of harp. Is yeah, that... like this is, a, I mean, this is modern, but this is a, probably a similar size, like Brian Boru's harp. I think a little mm -hmm. bigger than this one. Um, but way, I mean, it was different. They used to play in, in more ancient Celtic. They used to play it on the other shoulder. Um, I know that for certain, um, but they would have just called it a harp then. In modern times, we might have a different, like a, a really old harps maybe didn't have a pillar, so we would call it an open harp. Um, just depends on how far back you're going. I mean, technically the first ones were out of Egypt. Are harps generally 12 tone instruments? No. Um, so uh, modern harps have levers or pedals. So we have eight notes. Oh, and I'm in a different key. So we don't have any sharps or flats. We have to get those by using levers or pedals. Oh. Uh, Celtics, Celtic harps do not have pedals. Usually you'll see them with levers like this one or this guy back here. So like if I need an accidental, the levers will sharp the string. Uh, so I can get an F sharp mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by flipping the F lever, but that means I can't get a flat um, unless I tune it that way. So most people tune their harp into E flat because that gives me the most range of keys. So E, um, A and B are flat when you tune because then by using the sharping lever, I get E, A and B natural. Yeah. And then the other ones I can sharp. Um, so that's like how we get the different tones. Um, but what is really neat is with the pedals, you can go sharp or flat. And so not getting like too crazy about like the music theory, but you can basically get the pedal harp through using the pedals where you'll have two strings in a row sound the same pitch. Yeah. And so you can do that all the way up the harp where when you gliss, you only get the notes in a particular chord mm -hmm. and leave out all the in-between pitches and it sounds really neat. Hopefully, I'll, I'll do that when I get one of them in the studio. We, uh, we were traveling to find one. We went to Chicago, but then with COVID, we haven't been able to go. And they're a lot of money, so you usually want to play it first before you get them Make ship the it to you. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of us here we we so love the key the key of E flat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I don't I don't can I even get D E A? Yeah, I can't even get to E flat because I don't have a D flat on this harp. So it's uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would I could if I yeah. physically retuned it before the piece and manually raised the pitch of the string but yeah yeah this is my little uh it's only seven pounds i can travel with this one <laughs> easily that's nice yeah and it has a pickup 
which is nice. So if you were to get uh, a pedal harp, would that be a Lion and Healy? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, that's the most common in the Midwest, but I'm actually looking at a K-Mac, which is a French brand. Hmm. It's uh, There's Lion and Healy, K-Mac out of France, and Salvi out of Italy are like the three big ones. Wow. Um, and uh, it's really just personal preference. I like Lion and Healy. I played on them in college. Um, but the KMX have some, uh, they tend to come with a better warranty. Um, there's also some like ways in which they're constructed that uh, can like lead to a less expensive maintenance for them. And my, my two classical instructors who I've played with both preferred them. Wow. So that's what I'm, I looked at a Lion and Healy uh, earlier in the year, but it wasn't the right size. It was a semi grand, not a concert grand. And uh, Lion and Healy just seems a little more expensive. Like on the comparable models, they're usually a couple grand huh. higher than uh, a similar one from one of the other companies, but they also kind of have a monopoly in the States. So I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is interesting. We should have people do uh, presentations on their instruments. Hint. <laughs> I used to work in their building in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I used to work in the Lion and Healy building in Chicago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's what did you do? so cool. Yeah. What did you do there? It was an education assistant. Okay, cool. During college. It was really fun. So you worked for them or just in the building? It's the same building um, at, for the Youth Symphony in Chicago. Oh, okay. Neat. Yeah. Yeah, we went there in... August and it was to, to view two harps and it was uh it was not the experience I was hoping for with COVID they wouldn't let you in the showroom uh which I, I totally get but it was just yeah it wasn't quite what you know I've played harp since I was nine it had been a really built-up experience you're finally going it's like they'll put yeah. you in a room with one of them but not mm -hmm. anything else yeah so have you been primarily playing classical music then Lauren yep yeah. Yeah. I'm going to maybe go back for my bachelor's, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Beautiful instrument. Yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah. Renzo. Hey, Renzo. For a while. Oh. You're, mic you're unmiked. Um, or you're you're on mute. I'm unmuted. <laughs> I'm sorry. Muted, Renzo. You have to unmute. Okay. Oh, I've unmuted. There he is. There you go. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, I can hear you good. <laughs> hey, I, I know I've been missing out on all this, all these new tunes. I figured I ought to get in here and get one quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, I think we're uh, six minutes past the hour, so we can get started. Say, hey, Renzo, you picked the you picked the right night because we're not teaching anything tonight. Oh, okay, I've been waiting for that. <laughs> How you doing, Mark? Good. So we did go back and forth a little bit about whether we were going to teach tonight or have a review session, and I think... Right. Well, you, we, you can do a review session, too. Yeah, um, I, I think we advertised out on the internet that we were going to teach something, so I'm going to stick with that for tonight, and then... Uh, I probably the next one when we don't have a workshop, we'll uh, we'll do a, re a review session. Well, well, don't do that just on my account. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm all for it. <laughs> okay. So um, just to bring that up, uh, the workshop we actually uh, I think we just scheduled a workshop for the next session on December third. Um, we're going to have Marty Somberg uh, do a workshop for us, and he's going to teach some of his original uh, tunes that he's written. Um, so in place of the, the learning session at the very beginning, we'll have him do a workshop for, I think, uh, the first two hours or so. Yeah, it's two 45-minute sessions, right? Two forty, right. We're going to do like 45 minutes and then take a 
15 minute break and then do another 45 minutes. It's nice. So do you guys know any of his tunes already? I, I think I learned, I did learn one of them uh, quite some time ago, but I haven't played it in quite a while. He does write some, some really nice tunes. Yeah. So that'll be great. So is this something that as members of GEMA, we get for free or do we have to compensate? We're working that out right now. Okay. <laughs> I think that remains to be decided. Um, Fran yeah, Francis, you gave up the, you know, vice president, uh, vice chair position too bad. You could have you influenced. <laughs> That's all right. I think Ashley and Eric are doing an excellent job. Yep, I agree. For, for a grant, and if we get it, then it, depend it changes what okay. we get. What we need to do. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. So uh, tonight I was planning on teaching a polka um, that I learned from Evan Chambers. And I, I think he got it from Nathan Gurley and, and Laura Federson. I'm not sure, but uh, so uh, it's a polka called Happy Days Again. I think um, we had posted on the internet that it's happy days are here again, but um, actually I think it's happy days again. So um, I'll go through and play it maybe a couple times fast and then a couple times slow. Um, and then we'll go into teaching it. Uh, it's in, in the key of G. some uh, some slow I'll play it slowly
So, uh, and there's another tune that uh, they, uh, Laura Federson and uh, uh, Nathan Gurley play after that uh, called Padre Joe Keeves, and we'll, we'll probably teach that one uh, in a future a future uh, session. So, um, I'll go ahead and then get started. So uh, the first phrase starts uh, on a B note. So. And the next phrase. That's starting on the B again. So those two together. And again. And one more time. Okay, and the next phrase is uh, exactly like the first phrase. Eric? And the, yes? I have a question. Uh, so for fiddlers, and there's a few, um, are you doing slurring on uh, slurring of some notes together? I am, yes. So yeah. maybe after we get the tune, maybe you can show that. Can show that? Okay, sure. Whenever people want it, I don't know. Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. So, yeah, that, that third phrase is exactly like the first one. And then the last phrase of the B part uh, is a little bit different. And then there's like a, a, a transition note that goes back into the repeat. You just play the C natural. And then start right over again. And then. Okay, so uh, again, this is this is the whole A A part. Okay, I'll play it. I'll play it twice with that note that leads into the the second repeat.
Okay, any questions on that? I see there's some uh, messages in the chat here. Take a look. Okay. Okay, everybody's good with that? Um, so let's play it through um, five or six times. Get the hang of it. So you land on that G note, and then to go into the the B part. So there are some lead-in notes to the B part. You kind of just do a, a scale going up to the D. And the, the B part starts on that D note. That's the first phrase. So with the, those lead-in notes, it would sound like this. And then the next phrase. So starting on the D. So those two phrases together, um, including those lead-in notes. And again. And the next phrase. So it starts on that B note. And then the very next phrase, it goes all the way up to the um, high, high B. So So those, that whole thing together, starting on the, the lower B. I'll do that again. So everything we played so far in the in the B part. Um,
one more time. And basically it just repeats that to end the B part. It's a, it's a pretty simple tune. questions on that okay let's uh, let's play the B part through maybe six times get familiar with it Okay. Any questions? It's pretty pretty simple, straightforward in G. Okay. Um, let's play the whole thing through three times. See how it goes.
So that's it. Pretty simple, straightforward. So Eric, um, that tune was actually written by James Kelly. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you, uh, do you do the, uh, the pulsing that, that polkas have? Uh, I, I, I do. Yeah. When I, when I really get into it. Um, and, and actually the second tune, the second tune in the set is a little bit better for that. Um, uh -huh. maybe I can, let me see if I can show that. So I'll teach that one uh, in a couple of weeks, probably. So uh, for flutes, you know, you can pulse with the breath. Um, I don't know about uh, banjo and mandolin, if you can get that polka rhythm on it or not, any of the plucked instruments, but just a comment. So question, so that pulsing is coming from playing like two notes slurred on a string, is that correct? No, not, well, I, I was doing some of that on the second one, but it's more of the um, slowing up. Oh, that kind of yeah, thing, okay. It's, it's yeah. from slowing the bow down and speeding it up as you're, as you're drawing, mm -hmm. kind of, and putting more pressure sort of halfway through, so you're getting that uh, kind of a lifting yeah. sound, yeah. Those are, those are good. It's nice to take a break from uh, Jeels and Riggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. The old Jeels and Riggs, yes. <laughs> okay, uh, any other questions? Um, I don't know. Um, do we want to go right into the slow session? I, I don't know. Fran, would you want to maybe play through um, the tunes that you taught? Last week. Last week, like, once or twice? Yeah. yeah. Just give us a little quick refresher. Yeah. Yes, please. That'd be great. Let's see. Down, down the back lane and uh, Petticoat Loose. Petticoat Loose, yeah. 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 All right.
So does anybody have questions on that? On either of those tunes, any difficulties you wanna find out about? Nope, okay. On, I, I was wondering, um, on the C part, on Petticoat Loose, yeah. when you play the, um, the, the weird note. F natural, would you, would you play a role on that F natural or um, would you play it straight? Let's see, where is it? You could. You could? Okay. Or I was could, wondering. You could even just, you know, like I sent out uh, some uh, links to other recordings, and I think uh, Conal Agrata, the flute player, uh, when he plays it, he just kind of avoids playing the flat. You know, he kind of plays around it. I can see. Some yeah. Laughing, okay. But yeah. I mean, if you have a keyless flute, um, you learn to avoid difficult notes like F. <laughs> F natural. Right. Right. Um, and then uh, I think that. That's a good strategy. Family. I don't know what all instruments there were. There might have been a set of pipes in there, and I think they played an F sharp uh, in place of the F natural. So that you know the pipes have a hard time with an f natural too unless they're keyed for it so yes i was playing along with sure. that recording all week and when it got to that f it's just like because yeah. we're playing natural they're playing sharp it's like <laughs> yeah now but the um uh, see wasn't it the um ronan brown one or maybe he was playing flute on that one i can't remember but there's one where oh no it was the uh Pavino O'Reilly, Catherine McAvoy, um, and the other O'Reilly uh, uh, recording that I got it off of where they play the flat there, the, or the F natural there, which is where I learned to hear it. Anyway, walkie dokie. Take it away, Eric. Great. Thank you, friend. Okay, well, uh, my cat's talking to me. <laughs> we'll start the uh, slow session now. Um, let's see, uh, and James, you're up at the top of the list. All right, I'm gonna try uh, Father Kelly's. Oh, great, this okay. This week. <clears throat> uh, all right, here we go. I took this from, I don't know if, I mean, I look on YouTube and stuff. I found a violinist called, her name is Caitlin Warbelow, I believe. Yeah. Cool. Some people, <laughs> so I just found her and I was like, oh, she sounds really great. So she does, yeah. I'm, I'm very familiar with that recording. Yeah. Cool. That's a great version of it. Cool. Thank you. 
Okay, thanks guys. Good job. Yeah, that was great. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody that I haven't added to the list yet? I've got, oh, um, let's see. Get Amanda. Um, I think Ashley, you're next. Okie dokie. Can you guys hear me okay? Yep. I had to put in yep. headphones. <laughs> All right. Um, humors of Glendart and maybe Saddle the Pony if my hand can do it. <laughs> I'd have to stop halfway through. Was that three times through the second one? I lost track. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Yeah, you did it. Super. <laughs> okay. Uh, Renzo. Welcome. Good to see you. It's been such a long time. Yeah, I should be making this more of a habit, but it just doesn't seem to quite work. But That's all right. This is it. <laughs> That's all right. I understand. Um, how about um, Castle and Jug of Punch? Oh, great. Castle's a tough one on the flute because you got to fold up the octaves in a big way. So, 
Yeah, <clears throat> quite uh, come out right. Uh, your way of thinking, that's it. Okay. tried to play it on flute before. Is it common to play that first part up high? I don't I know whether it's common or not. It's a, I, can, I, I just, I, I, I heard it in a session someplace and I liked it and I had to yeah. figure out a way to play it. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't know when to, what do you, what do you think, Steve? I, I'm not sure either. I've, I've heard it around, but I've, I've haven't played it on the flute. Um, and I, I admire whatever kind of setting you can put to that particular tune on the flute. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's great. I just. No, I, 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 I have no precedent except my own. Okay. <laughs> well, 
follow you, Ronzo. <laughs> but you know, but I've been, it, 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 it just, it, it had a, it had a good uh, COVID tone to it or something like that. It's a little bit <laughs> more. <laughs> there you go. Good. You called that last one the jug of punch? Yeah. Is there another name for that or? Yeah, just... mug of brown ale, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that, maybe I got it wrong. Now no. I'm confused. No. I mean, I know Jug of Punch, the uh, real, but doesn't mean there couldn't be a jig with that name. No, I, 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 I may have just picked out the wrong glass. Yeah. Wrong mug. <laughs> what was the first one, Renzo? What was the name of the first one? I, I think I might have missed that. Castle. The Castle, yeah. yeah. It's a Sean Ryan tune. And that works really nice on the fiddle, for sure, and it sounds great on well, the fiddle. Oh, it does, yeah. It's great. I mean, the... The fiddle can take it right down to that low G instead of having to. Oh, like yeah, it goes all the way down and all the way up. Yeah. It's nice. Okay, uh, Amanda, you're up next. Can everyone hear me? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, can we do out on the ocean? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounded great. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Nice. Haven't heard that in a while. Sorry, what was that? Haven't heard that in a while. Thank you. One of my favorites. I haven't played in a while, so. Yeah, that's a great tune. Thanks, Amanda. Uh, let's see. Next up is uh, Donna. Um, I'll pass and I'm going to sign off. Are you? Thanks. Okay. See y'all next week. Okay. Thanks, Donna. See you later. Fran, you're up next. Well, let's see. I kind of want to play this uh, hornpipe, Sean Von Vault. I don't know how many people know it. And uh, let's see how well I know it. Maybe only a couple times through. It's a three part.
Let me start that again. Coming along really well, friend. You're in your box. Oh, thank you. Hi, Melinda. How are you? <laughs> Welcome. I don't think we can hear you. Hold on. <laughs> can you guys hear? I can't. No, no. No. I can't hear you. No. Can't hear you. no. Sorry. Sorry again? Well, I'll just listen. I'll just oh, listen. now we can hear you. Oh, you can hear me? Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it just started. Yep. Yep. How are you? I don't know why. That... I'm doing good. Um, the microphone had cut out for me um, yesterday. I was, or uh, Tuesday, I was doing an open mic and it suddenly cut off, so. Might be a computer glitch. Nice. Okay, well, we got you now. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be working now. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, let's see who's next on the list here. After Fran. Uh, um, oh, Mark, you're up next. Actually, Eric, I'm going to pass this time. Are you? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take the cheaters way out. <laughs> the che Is that cheating? I don't know if that's cheating. No, it's not cheating. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jim. Jim, you're up next. Okay. I think I have a bad connection because most of these pictures are frozen right now. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Stray away child. Oh. Oh. I was listening to the Sweeney's Dream CD by um, Kevin, Kevin Burke in 2001, discovered it. Oh, and yeah. The oh, version yeah. on the session is identical to the way the Bossy Band plays it. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's a really challenging That's a tune. That's really challenging tune. Actually, every part is easy. There's just a lot of them. There's just a lot of parts, There's yeah. There's just a lot of parts, yeah. <laughs> Thank 
What was that last tune there, Jim? Uh, Stray Away Child. That, uh, I think, I don't know if you guys were talking about it when I was gone, but uh, supposedly Margaret Berry, that tune came to her in a dream, and um, mm -hmm. Michael Gorman could flesh it out. He kind of became known for the tune. Supposedly she's the one that actually um, got the tune. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's an amazing tune. Is it seven parts altogether? Six? Uh, six. Six? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, uh, John, you're up next. Okay, let's uh, try the holly bush. And I can't, I'm not sure which is the A and the which is the B part. But okay. I'll just go with whatever I start off with. Okay. Great, John. Hey, John, people um, uh, sometimes start with the A or the B or, or in that particular tune. I think it's there's no standard yeah. A and B part. That sounds really good. Okay. Could you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sounded good. Okay, um, I'm up. Let's see. I'm going to play uh, A Thrush in the Straw. And um, oh, I forget the name of the tune that goes after that. A couple other tunes. Let's see. Health of Ladies. And Health, oh, yeah. And Boys of the Town. That's right. Uh, okay, here we go.
Great set. Oh, thank you, Tim. Thank you. Okay. Tim, you're up next. Okay. Um, how about Lady Anne Montgomery and Maud Miller? Okay. Um, excuse me. Okay, good. I mean, I really, the first tune was really, it was ringing and sounded really nice, and you put good. some nice uh, harmonics in with it. Thanks. So for Tim, you got to keep the tempo up, man. It kept slowing down. No, no, no. It was good for me on this. <laughs> was it? Was it getting faster? No. I, I'm, on mine, it was. My internet. Oh, so. Yeah. Everybody's been speeding up, slowing down. Was hey, my um, speed being changed tech by technology? Yes. Did everybody experience that? Did I, didn't, I, I thought it was pretty, 
pretty consistent. Huh. Except for one spot, I think. Interesting. But that happened to with some of the other people too. Yeah. I think I skipped over Steve. Is he you did it. And now he's gone. And he left. Oh man. No. That's <laughs> That was an accident. Well, sorry. Marcel, how you doing? Hey, Marcel. Hey, how you guys doing? How you doing? Good. And Good hi, Kevin. You. Oh, Steve. We have some new people joining. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, let's see. Who's up next? Uh, Tim. Lauren, you're up next. All right. Um, is Galway Bell all right? It's a polka. Oh, sure. We love polkas. <clears throat> Can you hear me okay? Yep. Yep. Thank you, Lauren. Thanks. Is there another name for that tune? I feel like I know it by a different name, but I'm not sure. Um, Fran says I, yes. <laughs> probably. It reminds me of Feyre Hurry from Omnia, but that's probably not the same. I don't know. They're a pagan metal band. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what the other names are, but there's others. Yeah. Um, John, we were talking about the early harps earlier. I think the name maybe that I had forgotten was Klarsich for the early harp, early Irish harp. Just, just popped in there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Marcel, why don't you take a turn? Okay. Um, have you guys played Crested Hens? We have not today. We okay. can do that.
cool tune. Yep. What was that one called? Uh, Crested Hens. It's a French French uh, song. There's a French name for it too. Cool. Thanks. Yep. <clears throat> Great. Thank you, Marcel. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kenji, you got one for us? Good evening. Um, how about Jackson?
That was great, Kenji. Nice tunes, Kenji. Yeah, very nice. I haven't played Jackson's in quite a while. You no, know, my B section of Jackson's was <laughs> the definition of rust. That was for me too. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for bringing that up, Kenji. Sure. I, need, I need to work on that. Eric, it's time for me to bow out. Sorry. Okay. Thanks for so, joining, Mark. Yep. Hi. Thanks, everyone. See you next week. See you next week. Okay. Not next week. Next week is none. Mark. <laughs> it's oh, Thanksgiving. No. <laughs> I'll be Have a good one. Thanksgiving. <laughs> you too. And yeah. everyone else. <laughs> So Thank two you, weeks sir. is the workshop, right? Yeah. Two weeks is the workshop. It's a reminder, right? Yes, that's right. Uh, Melinda, I, I, I think this is the first time we met. I don't, I don't know your last name, but I. Uh, it's Kranjak. Kranjak, okay. Yeah. Um, um, I this is my first time just like coming in, so I don't know. I wasn't necessarily planning to play anything. I, I'm kind of enjoying just listening and trying to pick up some tunes. By the way, what was the name of the last song? Uh, that last tune that Kenji played, what? Puddles. Puddles? Puddles. Potholes. Oh, like, like in the road, potholes. No. T-U-T-T-L-E-S, Tuttles. Oh, Tuttles. Okay, got it. Hi, Melinda. We've sat I... next to each other at Paint Creek. Yeah, okay, yeah. there's a familiar face. <laughs> Uh, uh, observer, I'll pass on my turn. Okay. That sounds good. We'll go back around to the top of the list. Uh, and James, you're up next. I got to pass this time. Okay. Sorry, my microphone's off. Ashley, it's your turn. Okie dokie. Um, Tanras? Okay. I think I'm feeling jigs tonight. <laughs>
Great. Fantastic. Thank you, Ashley. Sure. Uh, Renzo. You're back up. Okay. I'll be back. Um, uh, Rakish Patty and Hunter's House. Oh, nice. Okay. Great set. Thank you, Renzo. Yeah, I haven't played Hunter's House in a long time. It's another good one. Always good. Bring it back. Yeah, yeah. I used to play that with Bob. With 
Bob Hubbock all the time. That makes sense. That's probably where I heard it the first time, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Amanda, your turn is next. Okay. Uh, how about Made Behind the Bar? Okay. Okay. Part. That sounded great. Yeah, thank you. Nice to hear that tune. That was um oh what, what was that tune, Amanda? That was um made behind the bar, right? Made behind the bar. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think when you I, when I you know. played the when you played the the really high notes in the B part. It um it was compressing your sound. It was like cutting out, but other than that, it sounded good. I'm using a new laptop, and I'm still figuring out how the sound is working. Yep. Sorry about that. Oh no worries. That's all right. Okay. Uh, next up, let's see. Marcel, you're up next. I'm gonna pass this time. All right. Okay. Thanks. Fran. You're up next. Okay. Um, I think this is the fling version of an I'm Lupo Drashta, and then the kitty got a clinking coming home from a fair. If I can remember, I haven't played these for a while, but. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
those back Fran. Oh, yeah I need to work great. on those. All, all the time I was playing them I think I had my bowing reversed from what I used to play so <laughs> it was a little little uh hinky. Where did where did we learn those from? It's been a long such a long time since we played well, those. Tim and I used to play them. I, a lot. I got them off of the uh, is it the McCarthy family or the Mac McNamara? The McCarthy family album. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Fran. Uh, Jim, you're I'm up next. I'm going to here. Good night, everybody. Good to see you all. Okay. Good seeing you, Renzo. See you later. Um, drop some brandy and comb your hair and curl it. Okay.
What was that last one? Yeah, it. What was that last one? Um, come up the stairs with me. Oh, okay. Nice set, Jim. Thank slip you. Jigs. Yeah, slip jigs. Cool. Thank Taking you. off, Kenji. Okay, good night. See you guys. Good seeing you. you okay, good night, James. Hi. Uh, John, I think you're up next. Okay. Shakes the barley? Yeah, I don't know why. I haven't heard it in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's my turn, and I'm, I think I'm getting some tendonitis in my hands tonight for some reason. They're really hurting me. Um, have you been playing too much? I, I guess I have. I don't know. Uh oh. You've been on the computer too much? Too? I've been on the computer too much. <laughs> yeah. Is. yeah. I've been on yep. here since seven o'clock this morning. So. Well, time to quit work. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Right. Right. Just retire. Just, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, like that. <laughs> just retire. Use up all your vacation time. That's what I need to do. Yeah. Uh. Do I dare play? Try to play white petticoat. Um. Let me try. Thank you. 
do your fingers feel now, Eric? <laughs> I just turned them into hamburger, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> what, what were those called? That was, I really liked that last. Uh, the last one was, um, oh, so it's the white petticoat, then. Uh, Stan Chapman. Stan Chapman's, and then the last one was, uh, it's got a strange name. Miller's Maggot. Miller's Maggot, yeah, that's right. Which apparently is a dance, right? I think that's what I heard. I think, yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah, and not a disgusting bug. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Tim, it's your turn. Oh, you're on mute, sorry. I'm looking at a list. Oh, okay. Here comes Kitty. Here's Choo Choo. You want some attention? If, if you ever want to quick relax yourself, go on YouTube and there's some videos of like a cat and a dog who are friends and they're snuggling together. Yeah, that's very <laughs> relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about Don Landub, Donald Blue, and Ladies Cup of Tea? Okay. Brand, come back here. <laughs> Where'd she go? Where did she go?
been a while. We're pulling out a lot of oldies but goodies tonight. Yeah, but those are great. Yeah, yeah, those are excellent. Good night, everyone. Good night, Marcel. Happy night, Thanksgiving Marcel. to you. Oh. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. See you later. Who's watching the game? What game? I hear. <laughs> I hear a radio in the background. Or something. Or something. Not anymore. There it goes. Sorry, that's that's my husband in the kitchen. <laughs> oh. Was he talking? That's all right. We no, care. he has a TV, like a streaming thing on. He's watching football? No, he's watching some Israeli show. I don't know what it is. That's, I can't hear. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is uh, Lauren. Lauren. It's your turn. Um, I guess I'll do the butterfly slip jig. Okay. No, I think that was three. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yep. Very oh, nice. Harmonies. Really cool. Really nice. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tiffany Schaefer is a harpist online. She has a by ear tutorial for it. She has some neat harmonies. Very nice. Cool. So I think that's all for me. I have to make dinner. It's getting late. Yeah. Well, continental style. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Later. You're welcome. Yep. We'll see you later. And then there were six. There were six. Let's see. Ashley. Me. Okay. You're next. <laughs> Your cat. Oh my god. <laughs> Which kitty is that? That's Owen. Dermot is out gallivanting somewhere. Cute. Um. I don't have much energy in me. <laughs> How about uh, we could do the honeymoon reel?
that's nice, Ashley. What does anyone usually put after that? I have no idea what to put after. I, I've been uh, listening to Martin Hayes' uh, lesson on that one. Yeah, that's where I learned it first, yeah. Yeah. It's, it gets... No, I, I just started to go into uh, Silver Spear right after that. I think it's the divorce reel, isn't it? That yeah. one? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Not immediately after the honeymoon. There's some steps in between. Maybe there's a fling in between. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, um, I'm actually gonna bug out here. I gotta go. I think that's yeah. all for me too. I gotta go. I Get the... When you go, it's a total collapse. Yeah. <laughs> Why go on? It deflates the sales. <laughs> okay. Nice to see all you guys. Yes. Good seeing you, friend. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy see you. Happy I'll Thanksgiving. See you in two weeks. In a couple okay. weeks. Okay. Good night, y'all. I think that's that's all for me too. So. Yeah. Right. Bye. Me too. Bye. Bye. Good night, guys. Yep. We'll see you later.